This is John and his hometown before the earthquake happened. Just because of a single earthquake, he died, and the town was destroyed. To understand the earthquake, we need to zoom into the earth. Earthquake is caused by the movement of tectonic plates. It can happen along any type of plate boundaries. Pressure is built up when plates move against each other. Earthquake occur when pressure is released. The focus point is where energy in terms of seismic waves are released from. Sometimes, the force of the earthquake is so great that it's enough to turn the soft soil into quicksand, eliminating its ability to bear weight. This might cause landslide. Liquefaction is when the soil starts to behave like a liquid. Normally, grains touch each other. The friction holds the sediment together. Liquefaction increases water fill space, causing it to flow like a liquid, losing its ability to hold. All buildings can carry weight. Even poorly one can resist lateral loads like wind. However, during the earthquake, the forces are in multi-direction, thus foundation connection failure occurs. The Loma Pietra earthquake has magnitude of 6.9. The liquefaction has caused the bridge to collapse and damages the transportation system. The replacement construction for the building takes around 10 years to finish. This results in 63 deaths, 3,800 injuries, and $6 billion property damage. The technique is called self-anchored suspension span. Main towers are in four pieces connected by shear links, designed to absorb shock. Single cable takes the strain to keep the structure balanced. The bridge is fitted with a motion detection system. Base isolation are used to reduce acceleration so the base does not jump off the foundations. Shock absorber helps to dissipate the seismic shock. Taipei 101 used concept of inertial, damping and computer-controlled counter-moving weight.